Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be really fun to show you how to create this adorable little choker. I keep seeing them everywhere, they're really in right now and they are really easy to make. I cannot get enough of this boho kind of hippie festival style so I thought I would just um, create this and share it with you guys. I will be only using very simple crochet techniques to create this pattern, chain, single crochet, double crochet, and I will show you exactly how to do it. I added beads to it, you can add them or not, I show you both ways in this tutorial. If you decide to make one with beads, then you have to thread your beads to your yarn before you begin your crochet. I will show you exactly how to do it. I will actually put the mark here if you want to check right away how to thread your beads to your yarn and then you can just rewind back to the beginning of this tutorial for um, the main part of the choker. Make it one inch shorter than the actual size of your neck to leave space for the little loop and the little crochet um, button that we're going to make. Here is the way it looks like with the little beads. I made one in honey with amber color beads, super cute, and a blue one with turquoise beads. The important part is that the little hole in the bead is big enough so you can thread it through your yarn. Please, if you like this kind of tutorials, give me a like so I know that I am in the right direction. I just wanted to mention also how happy I am, how happy it makes me to see my little crochet family growing. If you are interested to join, then don't hesitate to subscribe to get new tutorial every week. I cannot wait to show it to you if you are interested in knowing how to create this adorable choker, then keep on watching. In the meantime, happy crochet! For this tutorial, you will need one skein of Comfort DK yarn. I chose Barocco in Tea Berry, which is number 2730. You can use any scrap of yarn that you have as long as it's enough. For this tutorial, it doesn't take um, a lot of yarn at all. You will need scissors, a tapestry needle, a few beads. Make sure that the hole in your bead is big enough so you can thread it through your yarn and you will also need some beading needles. Take your crochet hook and your yarn, make a slip knot and chain 9. We are creating the little loop that will be hosting your crochet button. Slip stitch with the first chain you had made. Here is your cute little loop you just created. Then you're going to chain four and you're going to make a double crochet in the first of the chain four you just made and you are creating a little half circle. Then you're going to make four more chains and again make a double crochet in the first of those four chains. Create your second half circle. The double crochet is the base of your circle and the four chain is uh, the round part. And you're going to continue like so, making four chains and a double crochet in the first chain of the four until you reach your desired length for your necklace. Remember, one inch shorter than your neck size. And this is going to be the pattern for your first row. This is what it will look like at the end of your first row. You have the little loop and you have those little half circle. My necklace has 20 half circles but yours will have the number you need to fit your neck. Now we're going to create the little button that will go inside that little loop we created at the beginning. To create the button, chain six. Chain 
yarn over, pass your crochet through the stitch, yarn over and pass it back through the stitch and pull to create a loose loop on your crochet hook. And repeat this process six more times. Plenty of little loops on your crochet hook and that's fine, just keep it loose. Yarn over and through all those loops. Then chain one and you're going to single crochet at the base of that little button you created. There you go, you made a little button that will fit perfectly through the loop we created at the beginning. All right, so that is done. Now we're going to make the second row of your choker. Chain two and then single crochet at the base of the half circle that you created in the first row. Then you're going to chain three In the stitch in between the two half circles, you are going to single crochet. Then you're going to chain three. And in the next stitch between the two next half circle, you are going to single crochet. And you're going to do that all along until the end of your second row. Three chains, single crochet in that stitch in between the two half circles we had made. This is what your work will look like. Continue all along till you reach the end of your row. Here is the end of your row. Here is the last chain three. and the single crochet in the last stitch in between your half circle and the little loop we created and that is ending your second row and for your third row you're going to chain three turn your work around and at the base of the chain three you are going to make a double crochet and that is to begin your third row. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to make in that single crochet from the previous row, you're going to make one double crochet, then you're going to chain one and in the same stitch you're going to make another double crochet creating a little V. Then you're going to chain one and in the next single crochet repeat one double crochet one chain and another double crochet in the same stitch and this is what your pattern will be all along your third row chain one, a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet in the next single crochet from the previous row and you're going to do that all along your third row. This is what your work will look like at the end of your third row. You're going to end that row by making a double crochet, the stitch in between the chain from the previous row and the little button we created. You're not going to chain one, you're just going to make another double crochet in that same space. And you're done with your third row. For the first one, you're going to chain, turn your work around, single crochet in that first stitch, chain three, 
and at the base of that chain 3 you're going to slip stitch creating what is called a little pico stitch then you're going to chain one and in that space in between the double crochets you're going to single crochet one and then you're going to chain one and in the space between the two double crochet in the chain you're going to single crochet one chain three to slip stitch at the base of the chain creating your second picot stitch then you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in the space in between your little V's that you had made in the previous row. Chain one, in between the single crochet in that chain one, now you're going to single crochet and make a picot again, which is three chains, slip stitch through the base of that chain. And this is what your pattern will be for your fourth row and you're going to continue like so all along. Look how pretty it looks, I absolutely love it. We are reaching the end of our fourth row and we are almost done with your choker. To end you're going to slip stitch into the first chain 3 you had made in the previous row. You're going to fasten off and you're going to take your tapestry needle, sew in all the loose tails at the back of your work, make a little knot and you are done. Look how beautiful it looks. And it wasn't hard to make, was it? Here is the loop and the button. I love the fact that there is no need to buy buttons. We created one with simple crochet technique. Now I wanted to add beads to my choker, I thought it was a really nice touch. So for that you need to go and buy a few beads of your choice. I chose for this red choker pearl beads that I purchased at my local craft store. I also purchased those special beading needles that are really soft and go right through your beads and uh, are perfect for threading the beads to your yarn. I also purchased this at my local craft store. Count the amount of half circles you have in your pattern and that's the amount of beads you will need to thread to your yarn. So in my case it's 20, so I thread 20 beads. So before beginning your crochet choker, if you would like to add beads, you will need to thread them to your yarn beforehand. Here you go. So you will repeat exactly the same thing as for the choker without the bead until you reach the beginning of your fourth row. So here I'm done with my third one. For your fourth one, you are going to make the pico stitches. Grab one of the beads and when you are done with the two chains of your pico, grab your bead and then make the third chain and then make the slip stitch at the base of the chain and your bead will just be snugly there. Chain one. For the next, just do your single crochet in that little space between the V's. Chain one and again in between the two double crochets. In the chain one, you're going to chain two. Oop, grab your bead, put it snugly at the base of your crochet. Chain, slip stitch at the base of your chain three to create the picot. Your bead is not going to move. It is snugly attached in the middle of your picot. Not hard, right? Super easy. And you continue like so all along your fourth row, just inserting your B of your picot. I'll show you one more time. One, two. Grab your bead, put it snugly at the base of your stitch. And slip stitch to the base of your chain three. I love it, super pretty. 
very easy to add a very nice touch to your crochet. And now you know how to crochet with beads. It's as easy as that. Look how cute it looks! I love the soft yet interesting edging we created for this adorable choker. The beads are adding a slight elegance to it, in my opinion. And this is the honey color one with the amber beads and the blue, the navy blue one with turquoise beads. They are all gorgeous. This is the same one without the bead. Choices are yours, possibilities. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did creating it for you. I'm looking forward to many more. And in the meantime, happy crochet. Mwah. Love you.